you're gonna do? You're gonna have to send Billy and his crew. Bed bugs, bed bugs. Oh, what you're gonna do? You're gonna have to send Billy and his crew. Don't Let the Bed Bugs Bite by Greg Holly. Are we almost there, Megan asked for the tenth time. It's not far now, Megan's mom replied, for the tenth time. Megan often visited her grandparents in the country, but this visit was extra special. For the first time, Megan was going to spend the night. The farm was a magical place. It had an old two-story house, a white picket fence, and a rope swing in the front yard. Best of all, Grandma and Grandpa had a barnyard full of friendly animals. When the city had faded from view, Meg's mom turned off the highway and onto the bumpy dirt road that led to the farm. The car had barely stopped in the driveway when Megan jumped out and ran toward the house. How's my little princess? Megan's grandmother asked. My wonderful grandma, Megan exclaimed. Where's grandpa? He's back at the barn feeding, at, feeding the animals their supper, grandma said. Why don't you run out there and surprise him? Megan gave her mom a hug, a kiss, and a wave goodbye. Then she started for the barn and stopped in her tracks. A spider, Megan shrieked. Grandma chuckled. It's only a tiny spider. I hate bugs, Megan cried. She slipped carefully past the creepy black creature and dashed to the barn. Megan's grandpa was feeding the horse a bucket of grain when he heard little feet running down the path. Megan, he shouted, grabbing his granddaughter and spinning her in a big hug. Hi, grandpa, Megan replied. At the sound of Megan's voice, the barnyard came alive with excitement. Hello, said Mr. Horse. Lovely to see you again. I think you've grown a foot since last summer. Hello, hello, chimed the cow and pigs. Even the sleepy owl hooted a cheerful welcome from the barn. Megan greeted each animal in turn. When she had patted the last duck, she looked around. Where's Mr. Mouse? Oh, you know him, said a pig. He's always into something. I'm sure he'll show up soon. Just then, Grandma rang the dinner bell and yelled, Come and get it! At dinner, Megan, Grandma, and Grandpa feasted on corn on the cob, green beans, mashed potatoes, and bread and butter with strawberry jam. For dessert, they enjoyed homemade apple pie and ice cream. I'm stuffed, Grandpa said when they were through. And you're up past your bedtime. It's bedtime already, Megan asked. If you want to get up when Mr. Rooster crows, Grandma said, you've got to go to bed early. Why don't you run upstairs and get ready, and I'll be right up to tuck you in. Megan scurried up the steps. She was nearly to the top when Grandpa shouted, Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Megan froze. What are bed bugs? she asked nervously. Don't mind your grandpa, Grandma answered. He's just teasing. I haven't seen a bed bug around here in years. While Megan brushed her teeth and changed into her PJs, she stole glances at her bed. She wondered what a bed bug was and why she should sleep tight. Maybe sleep tight means I should keep my eyes tightly closed so I won't see the bed bugs biting me, Megan thought. Yuck. Suddenly, Megan saw something move in the shadows beneath the bed. Oh no, she thought. A bed bug! Megan took a deep breath and prepared to let out a very big scream. Just then, Mr. Mouse jumped out and said, Hello, Megan. It's great to see you. Mr. Mouse, Megan scolded, you scared me. I thought you were a bed bug. Oh, I'm much too big to be a bug, he replied, but not too big to give you this surprise. Mr. Bug pulled a tiny bug swatter from behind his back. 
Mr. Mouse, what a wonderful gift, Megan said. I saw how afraid you are of bugs, so I made you a swatter. You can use it to protect yourself. Do you think I'll, I will scare away bedbugs? Megan asked. Oh, I don't know, said Mr. Mouse. I've never seen a bedbug. Grandpa told me, don't let the bedbugs bite. And now I'm scared to get in bed, Megan explained. What if bedbugs are hiding in there? Well, I guess we'll have to investigate, said Mr. Mouse. He stuck out his chest, then peeked hurriedly underneath Megan's covers. Nope, no, bed, no bugs, no bugs at all. Megan frowned. What if you just didn't see them? What if they're hiding somewhere else? Mr. Mouse frowned, too. Hmm. We need help, he said. Let's go outside and talk to the dog. He is very smart. I think he can tell us what a bed bug is. Good idea, Megan replied. I will get my flashlight. You bring the swatter. The dog was asleep on the porch. Sorry to disturb you, Mr. Dog, said the mouse. But can you tell us what bed bugs are? The dog slowly raised his head, then replied in a gruff voice. No, never seen a bed bug. If there are anything like pesky fleas, I hope I never see one. What now? Megan asked. You might try asking Mr. Horse, suggested the dog. He is very smart. Megan and Mr. Mouse swung open the big door of the dark, quiet barn. Excuse me, Mr. Horse, are you awake? asked Megan. Well, I am now, replied the sleepy horse. I'm sorry to wake you, but Grandpa said there were bugs in my bed. I'm afraid they'll bite me if I go to sleep. Can you tell me how I can scare them away? Nay said Mr. Horse. I've never seen a bed bug. When I'm in the barn, I sleep standing up, not lying down in a bed. Perhaps you should ask the pigs or the cow. They are very smart. So Megan and Mr. Mouse walked outside to the pig pen. Megan explained her problem to the pigs and cow and asked if they could help. Oh, I wish we could help, answered a pig, but we... We sleep outside in the mud. We have never seen a bed bug. Have you, Miss Cow? I'm afraid I haven't, replied the cow. I sleep outside on the soft green grass with the moon overhead. No bed bugs for me. You might try Mr. Duck. He is very smart. Mr. Mouse and Macon walked down to the pond where the duck was floating in the water. Mr. Duck, I don't suppose you can tell me what bedbugs are, asked Megan. I've never heard of a bedbug, said the duck. I sleep floating on the pond. I never have to worry about bugs. You should try Mr. Owl. He is very, very smart. Megan and Mr. Mouse walked to the barn. Hello, Mr. Owl. Are you up there? Silently, the owl swooped down and landed on the gate next to Megan. Isn't it past your bedtime, he asked. That's why I'm here, said Megan. Grandpa said there are bed bugs in my bed, and now I'm afraid to sleep. I was hoping you could tell me what bed bugs are and how I can frighten them away. Well, I wish I could help, replied Mr. Owl. But I stay awake all night and sleep in my nest during the day. I've never seen a bed bug. Suddenly, Grandma hollered from the house. Megan, are you out there? Tell the animals good night and come inside now. It's past your bedtime. Megan did as she was told, trudging back to the house with Mr. Mouse beside her. When she reached the porch, Mr. Horse turned to the others. Come on, he said. We can't let her sleep with bugs in her bed. The concerned animals gathered beneath Megan's window. Inside, Megan and Grandma knelt beside the bed and said their prayers. 
Then Grandma pulled down the covers and said, Time to hop in. Do I have to get into bed, Grandma? Megan asked. I'm afraid the bed bugs will bite me. Oh, dear, Grandma said. Grandpa has really got you worked up. Honestly, I haven't seen a bed bug in ages. Then why did Grandpa tell me to sleep tight? Don't let the bed bugs bite. It's from an old poem that my father told me many years ago when I was a little girl like you, Grandma said. The poem reminded me to tighten the ropes in my bed. What ropes? asked Megan. These ropes, said Grandma. Old beds like this one used ropes to hold up the mattress. The ropes would often stretch, causing the bed to sag in the middle. So my parents often told me to sleep tight, which reminded me to keep the ropes pulled tight. But what about the bed bugs? Megan asked. New mattresses like this one are made with fabric and springs, Grandma said. But old mattresses were stuffed with horsehair or straw. Bed bugs loved to hide inside them. Sometimes after I fell asleep, they would sneak out and give me a little nip on my arm or leg. Oh, Megan exclaimed, I could never go to sleep if I knew there were bugs in my bed. Don't worry, Grandma said, there are no bugs in this bed. Now climb in and I'll tell you the whole sleep tight poem. There's more, Megan asked. Listen carefully. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And if they do, tell them, shoo, I don't want to sleep with you. That's funny, Megan said. Grandma kissed Megan on the cheek. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Megan giggled. And if they do, tell them, shoo, I don't want to sleep with you. Grandma turned off the light and Megan drifted into a long night's sleep. The animals, tired from all the excitement, curled up too. Mr. Owl watched over his friends and exclaimed, Good night. Sleep tight. I love to look for bugs in the sky. I love the wings of butterflies. Orange, blue, yellow, and red. I'll try to catch one with my butterfly net. What's that bug on the flower? I want to touch it. It's a bee sting. Some bugs bite. Oh no, it looks like you're allergic. Some bugs bite. Let's hurry to the doctor.